The well-like Neo Retro movement combines cutting-edge engineering with vintage motorbike styles. What happens then, if a motorbike never quite reaches the Neo stage, but instead maintains its authentic endearing retroness? The versatile dual sport Yamaha TW200 is here for 2023. Look for images of the original 1987 TW200 to see how similar the contemporary T-Dub is to its forebear. Although Yamaha's XT250 has contemporary electronics, we might still wish for EFI, but the TW200 has survived just as it is because of something odd and endearing about it. Could it be the subdued thud, the distinctive fat tires, or the unusual dual sport design? The entire list. The TW200 persists as a rider-friendly vehicle equipped for both paved and unpaved terrain. A 196cc air-cooled single-cylinder engine produces low to middle torque and accessible power for any road when mated to a smooth 5-speed transmission. The Thumper boasts an excellent 78 miles per gallon for effective commuting while sipping gasoline from a tiny 1.8-gallon fuel tank, underscoring its suitability for city driving. The chassis follows, with its built for the dirt size and style. The trailway's signature appearance and ability to traverse different terrains are attributed to the thick 138s18 and 180s14 tires. A comfortable 33mm telescopic fork and single shock with respectable 6.3 and 5.9 inches of travel front and back are up to the task of handling the rocks and bumps. A broad front fender jammed between the fork tubes protects the rider from dirt, water, and mud, while fork shrouds and a skid plate shield the bike from harm. A 33mm telescopic front fork with 6.3 inches of travel soaks up the bumps for a plush ride. Big fat tires deliver great traction and rider comfort over a wide range of terrain, and they make the TW200 the most distinctive-looking dual-purpose machine around. Full instrumentation including speedometer, odometer, resettable trip meter, indicator lights for neutral and high beams, plus turn signals come standard. Although its outdated technology, such as the boxy analog dash and halogen lighting, might draw criticism, it does include a push-button start for simple startup. Consider its technology to be similar to a basic flip phone with buttons, it is still functional and fulfills its job, but in a little outmoded manner. There are no further modifications from the previous model other than a $100 price increase, bringing Yamaha's Fat Tire TW MSRP to $4,899. Still a great value for a dual sport that is capable. Does the venerable TW200 possess a timeless charm that still doesn't call for it to be altered in an era where previous trends are always enjoying a time loop of popularity? You could make both arguments.